everyone, it's Moonlight Mason, and in this video, I'm going to talk about Jaclyn Hill's last video, kind of like her explanation, and she titled that video, My Lipsticks. So, I have quite a bit to say on it, and just wanted to thank everyone who gave me so much love in my last video. It really meant the world to me, knowing that you're there and that you do care. <laughs> That rhymed. Anyways, you guys, I love you all. And if you're watching this for the first time, please do consider subscribing and give this video a like. And I want to hear your comments below. So let's get right into this video. Like, you know, it's not that big of a deal, folks. That's what she came off of in general. It came off like, you know, it's not that big of a deal. If you've got a problem, you know, listen to this. She goes, mail it in and then we'll give you a refund and we'll send you another uh, lipstick. And she says, even though some people say that someone's going to take advantage of it or something, she says, I don't care. Now, listen. They have invoices, you have an order number. So she doesn't know in her head that if someone returns something, you can, um, you know, correlate the order numbers. I, I don't understand. These, these replacements have gone out and the replacements are just as bad or worse than the first ones that went out. She says for sure they're not expired, that they were just ran. Um, just like a week or two before her launch, even though, you know, a lot of other experts have spoken up and said, no, that's impossible. Well, they could have done things backwards. They could have done all the different steps that were supposed to take place prior to uh, uh, running the, the lipstick. And then she says that that is why these black holes are on there because of oxygen and they ran the lipsticks too quickly, right? That the that her ingredients, I got so much to tell you, that her ingredients didn't get mixed up enough, right? Okay, the thing is, is number one, her ingredients. Let me tell you how this works. I'm an esthetician. Here's a product from Eminence, by the way. Okay, this is Bright Skin Licorice Root Exfoliating Peel for Bright Skin, okay, by Eminence. And all, they're 100% they're organic and all of their products, I mean, their ingredients are listed here, okay? So what this means, you guys, is that when the lab purchases each one of these ingredients from a different manufacturer, what it means is that it is certified that each, each ingredient that they purchased, each one, right? And there's thousands of them, or there's hundreds of them, or there's a couple hundred, you know, usually. But each ingredient that you see in her lipsticks, right? Those are, um, she's trying to say raw and fresh. Okay. All right. So let's give her that. So let's say all the ingredients are raw and fresh and they're FDA approved, approved. But what's not approved is the lipstick. The FDA, they don't approve makeup. They improve the ingredients, but no, not the totality of the whole lipstick. Like, you don't, you, you'll never see a, a makeup that says FDA approved. I mean, you know, you don't even see skincare that says FDA approved. They approve devices, you know, that like in uh, med spas, that you know you can get different treatments. Those are FDA approved, but FDA approves ingredients. And so she kept saying that it was FDA approved as if the lipsticks are FDA approved. And the thing that bothered me the most, the most, the most, is she kept saying how safe they were for you. Now here's the thing though. Here's the thing that I think might be going on. There's so many different things I think might be going on. Like she owes someone something, like a certain amount of money. And they're saying, okay, once you've paid us, you know, once we've gotten this amount of money and we got paid back for whatever, then you can do whatever. So she can, you know, discontinue, do a recall, which is really, this is what I said in my first video. I can't believe that they haven't been recalled. I cannot believe that the people are still buying them I'm like, oh my God, they're not being recalled. But she said they went to a different lab, right? And they're using a different lab 
to um, make new batches. And so I don't know if that's true, that may be true, that may not be true, but I think that once she, I think, I don't know you guys, Marlena still, with this video that she's coming out and how what she's said so far about Jacqueline, directly about Jacqueline, you know, I, I hope the video that Marlena is coming out with, I really hope that video is not like directed against Jacqueline Hill for all the years or what happened with that. And I hope she doesn't kick her while she's down is what I'm trying to say, because that's not cool. That is not cool. Even if it's true, it's not cool to come out. And that's what these, all of these makeup people, that's all they do, right? It's just so hard. I, I mean, makeup gurus, how do you, you have friends? You have to have friends outside of the beauty community on YouTube. You can't be friends with other um, beauty influencers if you're a beauty influencer. The best thing, the be best advice I can give you is stay by yourself. Do not socialize with these people because all of them are like, you know. Okay, you guys. The product is contaminated. That means that some foreign objects entered into the batch, right? And there are so many. Here's the thing. There's so many foreign objects in the batch. Personally, I think that maybe they were left uncovered for a long period of time. I don't believe this. The, these gloves because you know why I don't believe? Okay, these are the things I don't believe. I don't believe the gloves. When she tries to blame the melting of her lipsticks to the act of God, <laughs> to the environment, all I can think about is why is it that when I have received other lipsticks, you know, during the whole year round, I've never received, you know, it could be really hot outside. I've received lipsticks that I've ordered from different companies and they've never come melted. These uh, lipsticks are safe and that you're not gonna get harmed? How could she say that when this girl already cut her lip? Did she not know that? Maybe she didn't know. I think it's just one person that cut their lip and then, you know, it, on YouTube, it, it, it starts feeling like, you know, several people cut their lip and uh, Jacqueline also said that it's like less than 1% of the complaints were on these foreign objects being in their uh, lipsticks that most of it was because it's melted. I, I don't know. If something is going on behind the scenes with this thing and I believe that Jacket is, Jacket, <laughs> I believe that Jacket is a puppet. No, I believe that Jocelyn is a puppet and people, she's like the brand, she's the owner. She has no idea what's going on, you guys. She has no idea, you can tell by the way she talked when she made the video, you know, my, my, my lipsticks. When she was talking, it was like, I was talking like something I would just, you know, learn. You know, some people felt like she was being, that they were being yelled at when she was talking. They felt like, you know, she was talking down to them. I did not expect, the, the, you know what the problem with her video was, another one, is she, there wasn't any humbleness in the whole video. She didn't feel like, gosh, you guys, I'm so sorry this happened. I'm like really upset that this happened. And, and this is what I was told. I mean, you, you know what? She wasn't being the real authentic self didn't come out. You didn't make that heart to heart connection. And that is why that video didn't work because she doesn't know what's going on. And all these people around her um, who may, may be taking advantage of her like a debt that she owed in the past and she has to pay it back now. And then after that, she's on her own. But unfortunately, when she says the white fuzzies, I was like, that's a really nice word to use for lint, strings, hairs, um, you know, I don't know, spores growing. I don't know. That's a really nice word to use. I want to talk about the white fuzzies. Okay. Then she talks about how these people, and I just, 
I really don't think it's this way. I mean, for her to say 40 or 50 people are on the floor and every half hour to an hour, two hours, they take off the white fuzzies, they put them on, and then the white fuzzies, she thinks that they were in the air, maybe they were airborne, or or I don't know how they got, or they didn't want to destroy the um the hard component of her lipstick but the the one that's really important the part that we're going to put on our lips it's okay if those get i mean i was like you know i was i was like what is she talking about and why did she give them such a beautiful name the white fuzzies dude i can talk about the fda and and food regulations and how the health people go and check the slaughterhouses and how they're in on some okay don't let me get started on the slaughterhouses. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, let me get back. So um, these white fuzzies. Yeah, she put like that really, you know, cute little name on them. And then she talked about, you know, like if it's not a big deal, like, you know, don't worry about it. You know, I'm going to get down to it. Oh, and then the lab thing about, so, so, uh, so according to Jocelyn, <laughs> she's changed lab three times. Remember the very first time, like in 2017 or something, she said something like that happened and they changed and then they got this one. And then since we've all found these white fuzzies and all these foreign objects in the lipsticks, now they've changed to this other. Have they had this issue with other brands out there? I've never heard of this. I hope Marlena Stell does not make a video kicking Jacqueline while she's down. I hope she doesn't, I really do. And um, and if she does, then that means that maybe she's in on something, okay? Something's going on. And here I'm thinking, you know what I'm thinking? You know who, who are the flies on the wall right now? I bet the flies on the wall are Jeffree Star and Shane Dawson. They're on the wall, they're, fly, they're the flies. You know what? They're eavesdropping. They're listening. They're getting little pizza here. Pizza. Yeah, they're getting pizza too. <laughs> they're getting a piece, a piece of sound bit here. They're getting video over here. And they're getting it together for their, their documentary, which I can't wait to see. You guys, let's try and all be happy. You guys, don't, don't, don't trip on these lipsticks. Just, just move on. Buy another, um, you know, lipstick from, there's millions of brands out there. And just, you know, just don't buy them because, you know, they're not safe and something can happen to you. They've harmed people already. And, um, yeah, I wish Jacqueline well. I still like her. Um, I'm telling you, I really think she's, because some people think she's doing all this on purpose. And I think she's being told what to do. That's what I think. I don't think Jacqueline Hill is doing or saying any of this stuff on purpose. I think she does not know. I don't think she knows. I really don't. Um, she might, you know, know a lot about the component, but when it came to mixing the ingredients and, and knowing that whole part, um, maybe she should have consulted Jeffrey Star because, you know, he knows what he's doing. And, um... Blessings to him and Nate for, um, you know, they lost Diamond. And so, um, rest in peace, Diamond. I have my dogs too. And uh, yeah. Anyways, thank you for being here. I hope you enjoyed this video. Do leave your comments below. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.